teaching it to you. Ephesians 6, 10 through 13 tells us, if you want to get in your Bible and read along with me, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and the authorities, and against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the devil comes, when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth, buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions 
with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. We have put on our belt of truth and our breastplate of righteousness. Today, we're going to learn about the shoes of peace. So we're going to put our shoes on. Verse 14 tells us that we need to stand firm. And to stand firm, we need the correct shoes. Now, you would never go out to play football in a pair of flip-flops. Nor would you go barefoot in the middle of winter to go outside and build a snowman. Brr, I can't even imagine that. You know, so it was in Paul's day, as he's telling the people about God's armor. What does he say about the soldier's shoes? His shoes tied way up high on the ankle, if you can see, way up high, so that, he, that, so that the soldier wouldn't slip. And it had cleats, much like what our football shoes are today, on the bottoms. So once that soldier stood on the ground, he wouldn't move. He'd be ready for battle. Now, when Paul spoke of readiness, he was thinking about the gospel. That is, Jesus' life, his death, his burial, his resurrections, and his teaching. Ready in our hearts and minds. So when somebody asks you, why do you believe in Jesus? You will be ready to answer them. I believe in Jesus because he loved me enough to die for me. And he forgave me my sin. So as Ephesians 6.15 says, the soldier's shoes gave him faith and peace that he was ready for battle. Just as the word of God gives us faith and peace to be ready always to tell people about Jesus. 2 Corinthians 1.24 24 tells us it's because by faith you stand firm. So boys and girls, always be ready to tell people why you believe in Jesus. Now I thank you so much for listening to me tell you all about the shoes and the gospel of peace. Now Caleb is going to show you how to put your craft together. Thank you, Miss Judy, for teaching us about the shoes. All right. Today we're going to make a Weeble Wobble. First you're going to need your egg and you can decorate it however you want. Then we're going to take the bottom of the egg, which is a little bit shorter than the top, and put our blue poster putty in there. But first you want to stretch it and break it, but it's not breaking, and then warm it up by rolling it in a ball. And then when it's all warmed up, you're going to put it in the bottom of your egg. Something like that. Then you're going to take your marble disc and put it in the sticky putty. Poster putty. Alright. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yours is going to look a little different than mine. So it's going to look just like that. All right. Then you're going to put the cap on. And then you're ready to weeble wobble. Like this. Notice how it never sits still. And it never stands up. Or it doesn't fall. All right. That's just proving the verse in Ephesians 6, 15. And that says... And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. This is like your shoes and how you're always moving, getting ready to tell about the gospel. Gospel means good news. In Romans 5, 8, it says, But God shows his love for us, and that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. 
Christ did die for us and took all of our sins away so that we can get to heaven safely. Also, it says good, more good news in Luke 24, 6, saying, He is not here. He has risen. So when God took all of our sins away and died on that cross, He also rose three days later to help us even more. Okay, thank you and enjoy your Weeble Wobble.